Yo, what's up Hemi Fam family? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new 2020 Mustang and the specs that they just released. And let's face it guys, they are still in second place. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the new 2020 Mustang GT500 and the newly released specs that they just released today. But if you are new to this channel, do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. On this channel, we do car videos, vlogs, installations, unboxings, lots of great, awesome content that you do not wanna miss. So be sure you are subscribed. Every subscriber helps feed a hungry husky and tortoise that we have here at home. So like I said, today Ford released the specs on the GT500 guys, and they have the interwebs going crazy. You got Ford guys talking, Mustang guys talking, Dodge guys talking, Chevy guys talking. Literally the whole car world is talking about the specs and bickering back and forth going well it's got this it doesn't have that we have this they don't have that and vice versa so basically this video we are just going to talk about some of the specs of the ford mustang gt500 and just kind of weigh in on if it is going to beat mopar things of that nature I personally do not think so at all. So Ford released um, the the specs, and it is they are pumping 760 uh, horsepower out of their new 6.2 liter V8 engine at a whopping 625 foot pounds of torque, guys. So that is a lot, a lot of power for the little tiny itty bitty Mustang. Um, now, a lot of people are trying to compare the Mustang to the Hellcats, the Red Eyes, and they're really two different worlds, guys. The Mustang is still considered a sports car when the Mopar, Dodge, Hellcat, Red Eye are considered full-on muscle cars, guys. These are full muscle cars, big, heavy cars designed for one thing to haul ass go fast down the street down the strip not really designed for road courses etc now ford the mustang it's a sports car it's smaller a little bit tighter so i believe they're pushing for maybe like road course type stuff and maybe a little bit of track but to me I mean, Ford is pretty much forgotten in my mind. They've been complying with the federal government, the EPA, for many, many years now, doing four-cylinder turbo engines, uh, EcoBoost Mustangs, EcoBoost Raptors, and to me, that is just sickening. It, it, it's terrible. Why in hell would you put a four cylinder echo boosted whatever the f in a mustang or a truck so to me i've been laughing at ford for a really really long time guys and i got a bunch of ford buddies and we go back and forth on facebook on the internet about the muscle car wars and I'm proud to be behind Dodge, guys, because Dodge is just killing it from A to Z. You have the Demon Challenger, the Red Eye Challenger, the Hellcat Challenger Charger, the Durango 392 powered, uh, Hellcat powered Jeep. I mean, their whole lineup is just ridiculously fast, powerful. And the cars look damn good too, guys. So I just don't think that Ford is on the same level as Dodge as far as what they are putting out and the competition. Um, that is just my two cents. It'll be 
interesting to see what happens when these cars actually hit the streets and people start testing them, taking them to the track, putting stickier stuff on it, modding them and seeing what they can really do, you know, at the track and when these cars get modded. Also, I'm curious to see what stock, bone stock GT500s do when they, you know, go off the line, when they launch. I mean, again, this is my personal opinion, my two cents, me on my soapbox. I don't think that these Mustangs are even going to make it down the track very good at all. I mean, people can't even drive Mustang GTs in a straight line, whether it be the way, the where the car's set up, what have you. Mustangs don't seem like they like to go straight. They like to fishtail and go into crowds, poles, walls, but they do not like to go straight. And that I'm just being real with you. I see it every day on my timeline on Facebook, the internet, Mustangs wrecking. I rarely see Mustangs spanking down the track. Maybe I just don't follow Mustang people. Uh, I'm sure there are badass Mustangs out there that kill crazy awesome times. I just don't see them because I'm more involved with the Mopar community, I guess. But Ford, they're, they're, they're doing pretty good. I will congratulate them on their powerful new motor. I just think they're steps behind. It's old news as far as what I'm concerned. Those numbers don't excite me. They don't... Um, you know what I mean? You you gotta be pumping way more than that. Dodge with the their demon and the red eye. I mean, 760 to me, eh, it's cool, but that's more like Hellcat power back in what 2015, guys. So that's just me. Um, I think that it is not gonna compete with Mopar, and that's not just because I'm a Mopar guy. It's just, you know, the numbers aren't really there. Now, a lot of people are going to talk about weight. They're going to say, well, this new Mustang is a lot lighter. It's going to shoot off and be more powerful off the line, what have you. That may be possible, guys. I know the Challenger Red Eyes Chargers are about 4,400 pounds. It's speculation that the new Mustang GT500 is going to be around 4,200 pounds. So, I mean, that's about the weight of a full-sized man passenger, you know, sitting in your passenger seat. So, the weight ratio, I really don't think that is going to help them, um, you know, power past us down the line maybe at a uh, road track yes because you know the challengers are really really heavy boats chargers too they do pretty good on road courses but naturally you want something more agile like a sports car what have you so they're uh they're doing pretty good guys um they're still like i said in second place the top of the line chevrolet camaro zl1 is uh pumping i think 650 horsepower so they beat chevy they still got a ways to go before they beat dodge so i mean this is their big 2020 mustang gt500 oh my god and 760 horsepower <laughs> i know a lot of ford guys were are kind of sad right now you know they were kind of hoping for at least maybe demon numbers red eye numbers and they get 760 what but i mean don't, don't get me wrong guys that is this is a huge accomplishment for ford they are they're doing it they're working their way up but unfortunately they are still way behind in the muscle car game guys um 
that uh that's just that is just it now car and driver they released an article today with really a uh, really great information lots of uh, specs on the uh, the new Mustang so let's go ahead and uh, go over that guys what the new Mustang kind of has in and around it to help it attack serious track times and function with the 760 horsepower so again this is from coming from the car and driver website and it says we already knew that it will offer a seven speed dual clutch automatic as its only transmission that it's claimed to run the quarter mile in less than 11 seconds and that its top speed will be governed at 180 miles per hour. The standard Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires sized 305 30Z are 20 in the front and 315 30 20 in the rear will put all this might to the ground while an optional carbon fiber track package brings carbon fiber wheels wearing track focused Michelin Sport Cup tires, an adjustable carbon fiber wing, a rear seat delete and dive planes up front. So, I mean, again, it looks like they're kind of following the steps towards the Challenger. The demon red eye 1320s um, as to rear seat deletes, deleting the front seats, possibly, you know, anything you can to get weight reduction and help you get off the line faster and across the finish line. I it, I mean it sounds amazing. I mean on paper. The GT500 sounds really, really good. And I mean, I'm sure it is going to be a really, really great car. But don't think that you're going to buy the car and go to your local drag strip and start spanking demons and red eyes left and right out of the box. I mean, you know, you may get a good run. They don't hook, but my personal opinion and I may get proved wrong here in a couple months when these hit the the drag strips that maybe people just kill crazy times and we will we will see guys I just don't see it happening like I said people can't even drive a Mustang in a straight line the GT what makes you think they're going to be able to handle 760 horsepower i mean <laughs> to me that is deadly <laughs> like danger is deadly because again maybe i don't follow the mustang pages but i see a lot of young guys driving mustangs and they wreck <laughs> they wreck a lot whether it just be driver experience the car what have you mustangs tend to wreck a lot and i mean all cars wreck you see challengers mopars crash all the time but they usually don't crash into crowds leaving cars and coffee car shows things like that so let me know what you guys think in the comments on the new gt500 ford mustang um, it, don't get me wrong, it is a very, very powerful car, 760 horsepower. I just think Ford is too far behind and I mean, it's, it's all news, those numbers. They don't excite me. Um, I don't know if they excite you. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Ford car, the specs, if you think it's going to be a competitor with what Mopar has now. Um, let us know in the comments, guys. Join the discussion. We really want to know what you guys think. This has been our two cents. And I mean, I'm a car guy. I like all cars. I have no grudges against Mustang, Chevy. If they're producing something killer, awesome. Uh, and I mean, it works, you know, beautiful. But I mean, 
with these numbers and they're still second place bottom line guys second place behind dodge and their demon red eye lineup so with that guys this is going to pretty much end today's video be sure you are subscribed to the channel like us on facebook follow us on instagram that way you stay up to date with all things hemi fam and never miss a beat be sure you check the video description for all of our social media links awesome affiliate links things for you to check out and save some money on and as always guys we will see you in the next one. Peace.